This quick video will provide you an overview of what to expect when you first access your course shell on Blackboard. Uh, there are three possible things you may see. Uh, the first is the default course shell, and this is what it looks like um, just right, run of the mill right out of Blackboard's uh, gates. Um, you may also have the blank course template. This is one that was developed by the university. It's a little more structured and detailed. Uh, I would say better organization. And then finally, you may also have a template that's associated with your department or college. <clears throat> anyway, once you have your course shells, the main thing I want you to know is um, kind of how to control what's already there. So if you're seeing boxes like this gray box next to information, that just means that area is empty. So you can click there and you'll see that there's no content. You can also hide pages. Any, any pages without uh, content are by default hidden from students. So let's say we wanted to hide the discussions page. I can click the chevron arrow next to it for the menu and click hide link. You'll notice that the icon is different. It's a small box with a line through it. So again, you've got the gray box, which just means that the area is empty. And the box with the line through it means that you have hidden it. Um, Next, I'll show you how you can add things to this course menu. It's going to be this plus button in the top left corner of the menu. There you'll have the opportunity to create a content area, and that's where you'll build folders or use learning modules to actually upload the different things you want to distribute to students. Uh, the other main thing you'll probably use uh, would be tool links. This is how you could put a quick link to a particular tool in Blackboard, say the announcements tool. Um, and you may also use web links. So if you want to put something that goes out to a different resource directly on your course menu, you can do that. Um, also, if you want to change the appearance of your course menu, you'll come down to the customization area, which this dark gray menu at the bottom is not visible to students. You'll click there, and then you'll select teaching style. Um, down in the select menu style area, that's where you can change the color of the menu and the text. You can also set where your home page is. So let's say you want your students to immediately see the announcements page that you recently added. You would be able to select announcements here, so that would be the first thing they see. And lastly, just be sure you click the submit button once you've updated or made your changes.